How's it going everybody, Ben from Budget Pokemon here, and in this video I'm going to be unboxing this Temporal Forces Booster Box. The set has just been released and I'm really excited to open this, because I do believe this might potentially be a really, really good set. Well, depends on the pull rates. I've heard some terrible things about the pull rates for this one. Um, we'll see. We'll see if those are actually true. All the booster boxes from the Scarlet and Violet era I've opened so far, though. I've always pulled a special illustration here. I think the only sets where I didn't pull one was... Actually, that was Paul Day and Fates. I'm pretty sure that was the only only Scarlet and Violet era set that I didn't pull a, a special illustration rare from. Well, without further ado, let's just get straight into this unboxing because we do have a lot of packs to go through. Which, as always, I'm going to mention multiple times in this video because I'm just that surprised, as always. But here we are. Ghastly, that's a really cool illustration like that one. We have a Hand Trimmer, Rapscar, Fortress, we've got a Bronzong, a Golurk, and a Gengar EX. Yo, this is a really cool one. Is it by Kavayo? It isn't by Kavayo. Kind of thought it, it was. Really cool looking Gengar. Super, super nice. I think a lot of people are actually after that Gengar in particular as well. I think that one is going to be really, really popular. Really cool first pull, all right. All right, let's keep on moving. As I've mentioned before, we do have a lot of packs to go through. And also, I have a new playmat, in case you didn't notice already. Um, actually, a funny story how I got this. I think this was available on Pokemon Center US. I don't know about UK. Um, when I was was trying to get it though, and I've been trying to get it for a pretty long time, I mean, it was always sold out. Yo, it's a special illustration rare! Morty's Conviction in the second pack. Yo, okay. Super, super nice. That makes us 5 for 5 with the booster boxes and special illustration rares for me. Morty's Conviction. I was actually going to talk about the, the special illustration rares. That you can pull in this set. We've already pulled ours, so that's very, very cool. Yo, I actually really like this. With Gengar, it's actually kind of fitting. We pulled the Gengar and then we pulled Morty. Look at this. Could you ask for a better booster box? I don't know. Yo, that's super, super nice. That is going straight into my binder for sure. Well, we'll see if I can pull a second special illustration rare. Um, last set, the Paradox Rift. I actually pulled two special illustration rares. Unfortunately, I only captured one on video. I only captured the um, the Umbrella Lady or whatever she's called. I've forgotten her name. And I had one pack left, which I was, you know, I was just opening because I thought there was no way I could pull anything else. And then I pulled the Gorchomp SAR as well. So that was something. Shame, and that's a really cool illustration too. Yo, check this one out. Nice. Okay, back to the topic at hand. Before I was rudely, although understandably, interrupted by that special illustration rare. Um, I actually got this funny story, so I was trying to get it for the longest time. Um, either off of Pokemon Center US or UK, and it was always sold out. And then I tried to ask on, on Reddit, like Pokemon TCG trades, and it seems no one had it or no one was willing to sell it to me. And then suddenly I saw um, Luna Lugia's Twitter post about some, um, whatchamacallit, playmats being available in Pokemon Center or on Pokemon Center Japan, which was kind of surprising. And I immediately went out and bought that playmat and had it shipped to me. So there we go. This is actually, this is probably one of my favorite playmats. I would, I would keep using the, um, the Trainer Salon playmat, but as I've mentioned before, the camera does have issues with the, with the tracking because of the faces in the background. So I guess this will be it for the foreseeable future. Probably use the, the Nessa playmat that's right behind that at, at some point. Um, but we'll see. We shall see. Really happy about that Morty's Conviction pull. Um, first of all though, yo, that is our Ace spec card. I have kind of forgot about these. Um, Awakening Drum. Draw a card for each of your ancient Pokemon in play. So I think, if I remember correctly, I didn't play or collect at the time. I think these Ace spec cards used to be a thing back in the day. And they have now brought them back with this new set. And I think, I think most of these are actually going to be really, really playable. I don't know how playable this one will be, so I'll have to check. But I kind of like them. They're they're pretty, pretty neat. 
Also, really, really cool hollow pattern. Look at this one. Yeah, these are pretty cool. Ancient drum. Don't know how good this will be. Oh, that's cool. So, as I was gonna mention before pulling that Morty, um, I think this set is really similar to Pokemon 151, and now hear me out. I think, personally, like, 95% of the special illustration rare pulls are bangers. So, if you are lucky, and you get a special illustration rare, you, you are in it. Like, all of them, or most of them, not all of them, all, most of them are pretty, pretty cool. Drown at the back there. Um, I think the only one personally which I don't like is the Salvador Special Illustration Rare, although that is like subjectively just my opinion. Um, I know that card has a lot of fans, I'm pretty sure, um, but I just personally, it's not my thing. Um, but any of the Pokemon though, like Iron Leafs, you know, you do have the the futuristic trio of the Swords of Justice. You know, we have Koridon, um, Terrakin, and Verizon. I hope I'm pronouncing all of these all of these correctly. If not, then I do apologize. But yeah, the the Swords of Justice, or their future counterparts at least. Those one look all very cool. And as of right now, like as of release prices, here we go. Maridon. Very nice. As of release prices, I think the most expensive card, at least in Europe, is that Iron Crown EX. And it is sitting at, I think, 57 euros at the time of filming, though. And that's actually pretty decent price. I mean, for release dates, I mean, I wouldn't definitely buy it at that price. But for a release day price, that's really good. And it's going to drop significantly in the next few months. So that will be interesting to watch how far that will go down. Iron Hands. Oh, that's just normal Iron Hands, not Iron Hands EX. I, I saw that the Iron Hands EX card was kind of going crazy recently. Yo, okay, Explorer's Guidance. We have a full art trainer box right here. A full art trainer booster box with Explorer's Guidance. Super nice. You do know how much I love these Full Art Trainers. Shout out to the Full Art Trainer Collectors Club, which is definitely not a cult. But there we go. I think it has some damage on the corner right here. Which is kind of a shame. I don't know if you can make that out on the video. Let me right there. Um, still a pretty cool card. And I think this will go into my binder. No, it will definitely go into my binder. This is pretty cool. An ancient card as well. Pretty sweet, pretty sweet. Now I'm curious what else we can pull. I already thought with a, like with me pulling that special illustration rare, I wasn't gonna get anything other than maybe a few like illustration rares and of course like the normal EX cards. But that's a that's a welcome surprise to be sure. Shroomish. We've got a licky tongue looking happy. Scream tail. Zara aura. Yo, that's a cool one. That's a cool illustration. That's a really sweet one. Iron Valiant, that's also really, really cool. Man, okay. All of these are super, super nice. We have Roaring Moon. Not bad, not bad. And there is the code card. So yeah, like, as I was saying, like, all of these, or most of these special illustration rares are gonna be bangers whenever you pull them. I think the card I would've wanted the most personally would've probably been Walking Wake. I just think that one looks super, super cool. But I'm really happy with the with the Mori's Conviction. You know, I I have a, a wish list of cards that I want to buy at some point of special illustration rare trainers, you know, for my full art trainer collection. And a few of these are definitely going to be under it. I think the Bianca card, Bianca's Devotion, that's also like for sure going to be on that list. Yo, Wack Trio EX. Nice. A textured EX card as well? Did I get an error box or something? I don't think so. I think these are normal pull rates. It does seem kind of odd, like special illustration rare, and then like almost back to back, like two, I don't know, ultra rares, secret rares. Super nice. Okay. Now I'm very concerned for the other side of that booster box, because pulling that much on one side, that can't be good, right? That can't be a good sign. Well, we'll keep on going anyways. We've got Slugma. We've got a Solosis. Skitty. Love Skitty. Electabuzz. Yo, what an illustration by Uta. 
Holy moly. Like all the illustrations in this set, this one as well. Holy moly. Like most of these illustrations in this set, and here's the illustration where I was, I was talking about the ghastly, are actually like really surprising me by how well they, they've, they've been done. Man, okay. That's also fitting with the with the Gengar EX we've pulled. It is a bit off-center, but I don't even care. This is a lovely illustration. The ghosts, like, going through town, maybe scaring the people or something. Okay, um, I don't know. I don't want to know where that Gengar's tongue is going, and I'm too scared to ask at this point. So let me just put that away and continue with the opening. Okay. Well, let's see what else we can get. I know nothing is promised in English booster boxes, but I think, like, in terms of, like, experience and, like, past booster boxes, we should get two more illustration rares. Two more illustration rares. That's that cool shaman again. Medicham and a flutter main. And here is the code card for that one. I think the, the good part, I mean, I did open the um, the Japanese sets actually in a versus video, like in a battle video, um, a little while ago. But even from opening that, you you don't see all the cards. Like, you, you see most of the comments and uncommons, sure. Uh, but all of these, like, art rares or illustration rares, you don't really see that many of. So, so sometimes, I'm really surprised by what I can pull. Especially if I haven't seen that illustration rare before. I'm always super surprised and super happy if that happens. Um, I haven't been opening a lot of Japanese sets recently. I've kind of been avoiding them. Um, Kuraido, nice. Kind of been avoiding them. Um, just for the set. Well, I've been avoiding them because the releases for like English and Japanese are now so close together. At least that's what it feels like to me. I feel like the English releases are now closer to the Japanese ones than they were before. Like during the Sword and Shield era. So there's really no reason for me to get a sneak peek in a set. I'll just open the English one instead. And also I've been on a on a roll with the with the Japanese sets. Also, by the way, I hope next week's video is gonna be the um essentially Chinese EV Heroes opening, Nine Colors Gathering, also Power and Origin, Iron Boulder. Um, Nine Powers Gathering, that's the set, and then um, Friends, that's the set that is like EV Heroes, and then Origin, that is the set that is like Fusion Arts or like Fusion Strike. So I'm really, really happy, like, I'm really, really pumped and hyped for, for open, or to open these sets, go down. Messing up all my words, but that's fine. Although I think I made a mistake with those two booster boxes. So I was a bit confused at first, because as it turns out, um, there are slim boxes or slim packs, and then there are fat packs. And like a booster box, of course, for sure. And apparently, yo, okay. Let me just pause for a second and look at that illustration. Yo, scorched earth in the background and an iron valiant at the core almost. Yo, that is an illustration and a half, man. Jesus. It's it's really, really rare for me to like pause the video and just appreciate illustrations. I feel like in this set it happened it happened way more than any other set before. Holy moly. All of these illustrations are insane. Okay, let's continue on. Um so I think I messed up a little bit. There are slim boxes or slim boosters, which are basically the Japanese ones. They have five cards each. And then there are fat packs, which have 25 cards each. Basically like the um, the first anniversary gift box that I opened on the channel. And I, f I think I I've watched Crystal Collect's video about them. And she mentioned that in the in the fat booster box, like the booster box with the fat fat packs. I think you only get six packs in there as well. Um, those boxes are are promised a, a special illustration rare, or a, um, a super rare, sorry. A super rare, whereas the, the slim pack booster boxes, the ones that I bought, I don't think they have promised um, super rares. Uh, I, I'm, I'm gonna find out in a few, in a few days, and or weeks, hopefully it doesn't take that long. I mean, they have shipped a couple of days ago, and last time around it took like just over a week, so I'm not too concerned. But yeah, we'll see what we can pull, if anything. 
Um, I still think Japanese ones, as I've recently gotten, gotten into it, or Ch Chinese cards, sorry about that, Chinese cards, I think they're actually super, super neat. You have the, the quality, that's also something that Crystal, Crystal Collects mentioned and kind of confirmed. Um, you do have the Japanese quality print and the texturing, but they are way cheaper for the most part, and that, that's the best part about those Chinese cards. I have also have, for an upcoming mail day, I have bought a, a lot of Chinese, well, almost, mostly Chinese cards, off a Chinese platform, actually, like Chinese eBay called Card Hobby. Um, at the time of recording this, they, they haven't shipped yet. Um, it's kind of weird, I bought like 10 cards, and first they have to be delivered to their address, and then after being delivered to their address, they have to check them, and then they go into, into the warehouse. And that has been taking quite some time. I have a card that was literally delivered like two weeks ago, and it hasn't been checked yet. Only three cards left though before I can say, pack them all up and ship them to me. Seems like they're moving a bit slowly, although it was just Chinese New Year, like last month, so they will probably have a backlog of orders to go through and probably have a lot of orders in the first place, so it's all good. As long as I get my cards at some point, that's fine. That is absolutely fine, Mel Metal. And a code card. So, we've just switched over to the left side. Let me actually get that booster box off the table, and then we can keep going. But yeah, I don't have high hopes for this side of the booster box. I feel like we've got most of the pulls on that other side. But we shall see, we shall see. Um, by the way, the booster boxes like um, Nine Powers Gathering, Friends and Origin, those aren't the only ones I've bought, I've bought a lot more. And I've also bought, yo, Wack Trio! That fits with the full art we've pulled earlier, nice! Um, I've also bought a two more booster boxes, two more Chinese booster boxes of like a few, like a bit of older sets, and then two, um, like, Pokeballs. Like we have, but also filled with like different packs. I actually don't know which packs they come in. Um, I don't think they come with the 25th anniversary packs or whatever. Um, although I might be wrong. I think I've seen like a review where someone pulled a shining Mew or like a golden Mew. So maybe they come with anniversary packs. We see when they all get here. I'm really excited to open those. And then, well, wait, that's the second ace spec card. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe the one A spec card per booster box only applies to Japanese booster boxes. And we've gotten a second one, like, for sure. Um, but that's really cool. Neo Upper Energy. Let's see, Neo Upper Energy. Um, I have no idea how good these A specs card are, by the way. Um, sorry about that. I feel like, I mean, I feel, I'm just gonna take a guess right here. And keep in mind, though, I'm really, really unknowing about this sort of stuff. I think this might be way better than the Awakening Drum that we've pulled. Maybe even one of the top ace spec cards. Actually, that's probably not true. I think Catcher was announced or something. Ah, you'll figure it out. We'll figure it out at some point. Probably right after the video. Right after the video. Yeah, I'll have to check. I could have sworn I heard someone say, or like, read it somewhere, that you only get one ace spec card per booster box, but that might have been, like, only applicable to Japanese booster boxes. That might have been only applicable to Japanese booster boxes, who knows. Um, still a cool pull, Roaring Moon. Hope we do get some more, um, illustration rares here. Some more illustration rares than just the Ghastly, although the Ghastly in itself is super, super cool already. Fits with the, with the Morley's Conviction and the Gengar EX we've pulled, so I'm not, I'm not too too upset about that one. Kovana, we've got an Ekin, Sauce Buck, Cypher Maniac Coat Breaking, Electabuzz looking very cool. Yo, okay, Cutie Fly. I think I might have pulled that in Japanese. I don't know. I don't remember. Um, there is a, a illustration where just as I've just as I started wishing for one, it appeared. Wait, maybe that means I've obtained magical powers and I can wish cards in existence. Let me try with this one, let me try with this one. This one is gonna have a second special illustration we're in. I'm gonna wish it into existence. Okay, let's see. Let's see if it worked. 
Let's see if it worked. Do Im imagine if it worked. Imagine if it worked and I make a shorts out of this one. That would be something. That'd be something. Okay, bronze ore, shift tree. Got Bianca's devotion, Aaron Jugulus, Noctowl, Lickitung, and a Ferelegator. Unfortunately, it doesn't, did not work. Imagine if it did, though. Bro, imagine if it did. That'd be something. That'd be something for the ages. Something I would probably never live down. Okay. I think we should get. Again, nothing is promised in English Booster for Scythe, but I think we should get one more Illustration Rare. We'll see what we can pull. Ancient Energy Booster Capsule, that's a name and a half, Bolthound. Poochiana Howling at the Moon. And we've got a Whimsicott. Whimsicott. There's the code cord for you. Alright, we still have so many packs left here. Man, um, I've forgotten how many packs are in an English booster box, and there we go. Surprisingly, that might be the first time I've mentioned the amount of booster boxes or booster packs in this episode. Uh, usually I do mention them way more times than just that. Palafin, I've got a Golet Pikachu, looks very cute. Walking Wake, this is actually the special illustration where I wanted to pull. And we do pull the normal EX here, so I guess that's kind of a consolation prize. But there we are, Walking Wake EX. Really, really nice. Two Ace spec cards. Already have our special illustration, but you know what? That's fine. Um, this time around, um, I'm gonna really, really make sure I opened all the packs. Not like that's something like Paradox Rift repeats itself, although I wouldn't mind. And that'd be that'd be cool if we pulled special a uh, second special illustration. I don't even know if that was an error box, or if I was just like really, really lucky. I mean, maybe a bit of both, maybe. But we shall see. Also, the new Japanese set that, well, has in fact released today as well. Um, I think Crimson Haze was the name. That might actually be a set I would be willing to open on the channel. Because there is so many cool cards in there. I mean, Perrin finally got a full art illustration. And both of her artworks look super, super nice. Especially that special illustration where where she's like pointing her camera down, which also goes together with like a Hizui and Growlithe, I think. That looks super cool. Yo, a full art Iron Crowns. Not too shabby. Coolio, yo, we've gotten so many freaking pulls in this booster box. Are you kidding me? <laughs> this box was once again stacked, just like the other ones I've opened on the channel. Super, super nice. Okay, let's see if we can pull an illustration rare in this booster pack, though. I'm still missing one. I'm still missing one for the collection, so let's see. Let's see, we've got Airy. And we've got a charge back. Nope, just a Miraidon. And there is the code card. We're getting we're getting close to the end here. Just a handful of packs left. Maybe I'll do a quick one with this one. Also, I, I hate doing the quick ones. I think, how do the Yu-Gi-Oh! players do? I think they do it like this, right? Maybe? I don't know. Do they do it like this? Iron Leafs, there we go. I, I usually hate opening packs like that. Maybe if you have, I, mean, I guess if you have like a thousand packs or something, that would be definitely way, way faster than going, going through the cart one by one. But, you know, I just like to do it the old-fashioned way. Just have all the cards right here and be kind of surprised about the pulls. I like I like being surprised. Got a Scent of Scorch. Got a Buddy Buddy Puffin. Iron Threads. Give her Heat More. And a Flutter Mania. You see, this time it doesn't work. Hmm. Maybe opening the pack slow isn't the way to go. Let me let me try to, to prove that theory. Let me open this one fast again and then if we pull something that might have proven everything, you know, the secret to unboxing all these good cards. So like this, right? This is how they do it? Didn't work, okay. So maybe that means that the theory didn't work. That's fine though. Okay, we have four packs left. Coincidentally, an art set of these four. Um, we're opening least favorite to most favorite. I think this one is my least favorite. Um, just in case of special illustration rares, I'm ranking them as special illustration rares probably. I think all of them um, are really good. It's just this 
This one is the, the worst out of those four. Still pretty good. Don't get me wrong. Okay, Yamper. We've got a Grubbin. Medicham. Boxed Order. G Rimbo. Is that a Rimbo B? Rimbo B, okay. Just a bit confused there. Tranquil. Crocona. And a McCargo. McCargo in the night. This is the McCargo in the night. No, that's not how it goes. Um, I think this one. And then I think this is this is the right direction. Like this is my most favorite special illustration rare. I'll probably be picking up most of these special illustration rares at some point. I mean, geez, I still haven't picked up these special illustration rares I'm missing from Pokemon 151. Just because I've I've been spending my money elsewhere and kind of also saving up. Kind of, not really. At some point though, at some point the mail days are gonna be back. Yo, here we go, that's our last illustration rare. We've got a Drampa. Very cool looking illustration. Nice. Interesting art style to that, to say the very least. But there we go. That's our illustration rare, and here is the code card. Let's see, I mean, we've gotten so many pulls in this one. Can we get anything else? I don't think so, honestly. I'm I'm very happy with this opening, don't get me wrong. Super, super happy with this opening. Got Skitty. We've got an Electabuzz. Bramblin. Gerafaric. Mudsdale. Explorer's Guidance. Colossal. Ghastly, yes, you're Ghastly again. Mr. Mime. Iron Thorns. Nope, not on this one. Maybe we can get some Lost Pack magic, though. That'd be something. Okay. Lost Pack magic with the best special illustration rare in the set. Let's see if we can do it. Let's see if, if we can do it. I'm actually gonna do it a little bit differently this time around. I'm gonna show you the code card. There you go. And then I'm gonna take the energy and put it right there. Do a little bit of a card trick, something that's not usually seen for Scarlet and Vital Packs because they, you know, they kind of do the card pack or the card trick for you. The pack trick for you, there you go. Stumbling all over my words. Rescue board. Sandy shocks. Here's the energy. Here's the colossal. Here's the Mudsdale. And here's our holographic Roaring Moon. Okay. In this one, we didn't get a second special illustration rare, but that was to be expected. Let me just get all the pulls just to show how ridiculous this opening was, in my opinion. So here we are with the pulls. Um, I'm actually really, really surprised. I'm really happy with the amount of pulls I've gotten for sure. I mean, we have. Six EX cards, normal EX cards, one of which is like a textured one, the Wack Trio. Um, three illustration wears, that is to be expected, although the Ghastly is definitely my favorite out of these three. Um, two Ace spec cards, I don't know if this is normal, it probably is, probably is. And we've got a Wack Trio, like a shiny full art. We've got an Explorer's Guidance, like a full art trainer. And we also got a full art of Iron Crowns. And then of course, to top it off, we got this Morty's Conviction. Yo, this looks super, super nice. That is a really cool one. Nice. Okay. I'm definitely very happy with this opening. But that does it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, then please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy it, then give it a thumbs down. Tell me in the comments below what you didn't like so I can try to fix it for future videos. Other than that, right here is a video that YouTube thinks is best suited for you. Right here is the subscribe button. Click this one first, then click this video. Check out any of the other videos in the description below. And I hope we'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Peace, peace. Take care.